Yo, it's Two Side Anime here, and I just got my Invisalign braces, so I might sound a little crazy. This very weird pressure in my mouth. Pause. But today, but we're not here to talk about my braces and whatever I got going on. We're here to talk about all the speculation I've been seeing about Jura's identity. Community has been going crazy with trying to pinpoint who Jura really is. Speculation all started after chapter 4 dropped and we were introduced to the God Tree clones. Each of the God Tree clones were a clone of the person that the Clawgron consumed, using their chakra to transform themselves into lookalike clones of the victim. The first God Tree clone we were introduced to was the Bug God Tree clone, and we saw Bug trapped in the Clawgron tree. The next God Tree clone was Masari, which is just a clone of Mawegi. She was attacked by a Clawgron while she was protecting the villagers during Code's evasion. And finally, we have Hadari, which is Sasuke's clone, and we already know how my boy went out. Sasuke went out taking one of Code's eyes. You know, the above Jigen level threat. Code is such a joke as a character, bro. I'm not gonna lie. With us knowing the identity of the other three Claw Grime clones, it kind of left Jura's identity up in the air because nobody could figure out who he really was until we were taken to chapter 5 of Boruto 2 Blue Vortex when each of the Claw Grimes named their targets that they want to consume and each of these targets had a level of emotional connection to the original characters before they became the Claw Grime clones. For example, Hidari said his target was Sarada. Sarada is Sasuke's daughter so of course he would want to consume her. Misari says she wants to consume Konohamaru, which is her childhood best friend. Bug wanted to consume Ida because we know Bug was affected by Ida's charm ability, so Bug thinks he's in love with Ida. Finally, Jura made his announcement of the person he wanted to consume, which shocked the entire fandom. Jura announced that he wanted to consume Naruto Uzumaki. This started the mystery of Jura's identity. The fandom started to speculate that Jura was Gara, Kowaki, some other random ninja that I highly doubt have anything to do with the story, and the most obvious speculation that Jura was Jigen slash Ishiki. But after chapter 8, the fandom seems to be more confused about the identity of Jura, even though it's obvious who Jura really is. Like I said in my Boruto 2 Blue Vortex chapter 8 review video, Jura is Ishiki slash Jigen. But before I explain why it's obvious that Jura is Ishiki slash Jigen. And no, it's not gonna be the obvious like Jura's ability to fly and how he looks identical to Ishiki and Jigen. It's actually something very simple. Chapter eight has convinced a lot of people that Jura is the will of the Ten Tail using the information that we received in chapter eight of Boruto 2 Blue Vortex. In chapter eight, page 38, after sensing Naruto Uzumaki nearby, Jura states he's a Jin Cherokee who bears a biju. As an incarnation of a fellow biju, I can sense the biju's chakra dwelling inside him. Basically, Jura is saying that Naruto contains biju energy just like him, so he can sense it just like Momoshiki, Kenshiki, and Yurashiki did when they came to Earth looking for Calvia. Which is proof to say Jura is actually the Ten Tails. But there's more. He also has the Sage of Six Patch symbol on the back of his jacket, just like Obito had when he absorbed the Ten Tails and became the Jin Cherokee, and Naruto as well after he was brought back to life by Hagoromo. And to add on top of that, on Jura's stomach, we see a similar symbol to the symbol where all the tails beasts meet up within Naruto Uzumaki. So one would believe that they have a strong argument to say Jura is actually the embodiment of the Ten Tails will and Jura isn't Ishiki and I'm here to say that's flat out wrong. You know the motto by now just let me cook because I'm about to explain why Jura is Ishiki and it's just not the will of the Ten Tails. My first issue with this theory is based off of what Amado said in chapter 45, page 25. Amado states it's a different specimen than the one you battled. Unfortunately, I don't know where this one came from, but the Utsusuki always utilize a Ten Tails when they assault a planet, for it's the Ten Tails that becomes the divine tree. Ten Tails is the seedling. This in itself can be a major plot hole in the series, but I'ma let them cook for the next couple of chapters to see if they can go over this information. Amado explained that the Ten Tails that we saw in the fourth great ninja war, the one that Calgia ate her chakra fruit from, is different than the one that Jigen possessed. So how would this Ten Tails be able to sense 
the Biju energy within Naruto, if they're different species. The next argument that I saw people use to say that Jura isn't Ishiki slash Jigen was that his chakra should have been registered by the Yamanaka clan, the barrier team. You can easily debunk this claim because nowhere in the series have we ever seen anybody outside of the Leaf Village get registered by the barrier team? It's only for the shinobi of the Leaf Village. That's how they're able to detect if another chakra signature enters the village that isn't registered with their village. So there wouldn't be a need to register Ishiki slash Jigen's chakra signature. If this is your reason to rule out Ishiki or Jigen, then you're going to have to keep the same energy for the idea that Jura is just the will of the Tentails. In chapter 35 of Boruto Next Generation, starting on page 36, ending on page 39, we see Jigen teleport into the area where the Tentails was at. He states that the Tentails cannot eat him yet, and he needs to take more again. At this moment, we see Jigen absorb chakra from the juvenile Tentails. Sasuke witnessed this transformation, saw for the first time that Jigen may be Ishiki Utsusuki. In the next chapter, Jigen enters the village and Ino drops and holds her stomach and says, what sinister chakra is this? So if we use the same logic that Jirai isn't Ishiki slash Jigen because his chakra signature would have been registered by the barrier team, then, then this will apply to the juvenile Tentails because because before Jigen entered the village, he absorbed the chakra from the juvenile Tentails to amp himself up against Naruto and Sasuke. So that argument is thrown out the window. Now, if we want to talk about the symbols that are all over Jura's body, because my boy is tatted, let's talk about the symbol on Jura's back. You remember, I said this was the exact same symbol that Obito and Naruto had in the fourth great ninja war. We see the exact same symbol on Jigen's chair in chapter 45, page 36. It has some extra tomos added to it, but still the same design. And for my last and final part in regards of Jura, being a clone of Jigen slash Ishiki, we need to take a trip down memory lane and understand the essence of karma. If you guys remember, the karma seal is nothing but compressed data of the Utsusuki soul that is placed on a vessel. And over time, the data will decompress into the vessel, overriding the vessel's soul, and the Utsusuki will be reborn again. This is the process that the Utsusuki clan used to invade and absorb life on other planets. They will bring the Tentails Juvie, which is nothing but the seed, feed the lower ranking Utsusuki to the Tentails. That Tentails will then become the divine tree and it start absorbing life from the planet. But before this process starts, the lower ranking Utsusuki will find themselves a vessel so they can be reborn and they repeat the process over and over again. So in order for the Tentails to transform or become anything outside of the Tentails Juvie, it needs to consume a Utsusuki or at least get some Utsusuki DNA. This is how Jura got his DNA from Ishiki Utsusuki. We all know at the end of Boruto Next Generations, Code used his straps infused with his blood and his white karma seal to create the Kalgrime army, which ultimately turned into the God Tree clones. In chapter six, on page 23, Boruto states he may have not been a Utsusuki, but he got a karma that came from Ishiki, which is a lump of Utsusuki essence. So having some effect wouldn't be a surprise. This means the mere essence of Code's white karma seal and the DNA that it held of Ishiki Utsusuki got transferred into the Tentails, triggering its awakening. And I know somebody's going to say, but Code had a dud karma seal, which was stated by Code himself. So his body shouldn't be altered by the white karma seal. And that's completely wrong because you have to revisit Boruto Next Generation's chapter 27. In that chapter, we see the process of Jigen bestowing his karma on his selected vessels, which he found by matching their blood types to his. In this process, the candidates are placed in Capri Sun looking bag and Jigen dumps his karma seal into a water jar that sends black liquid into the bags and forces karma on the bodies of the children. The ones that survive get bestowed with karma. But this process is Jigen actually altering the DNA of the candidate. That's how Kowaki was able to get the karma seal. His whole body was altered. And from that point on, Amado constructed Kowaki's cyborg body with 
withstand the powers of karma. The same thing with Code. Even though Code was giving a dud karma, a white karma seal, his body was still altered by the DNA of a Utsusuki. So when he used his blood and his ability to create the Claw Grind army, he was mixing the blood of a Utsusuki and the essence of his white karma, triggering an awakening into the God Tree clone. I do believe Jura absorbed the Ten Tails. This Ten Tails that Jura absorbed was probably way weaker because of all the Claw Grimes that Code created. And that's why Jura wants to consume Naruto to restore the power of the Ten Tails. Jura is Ishiki. He's just the Jinchiriki of the weakened Ten Tails that Code was extracting the army from. All of this was made possible because of Ishiki. It's literally a parallel of what we saw Jigen slash Ishiki do right before chapter 35 when he absorbed the chakra from the Ten Tails. Jura being the essence, being the clone of Ishiki, absorbed the Ten Tail. But that's it for my theory. I'm basically saying that Jura is still Jigen slash Ishiki and everything that we are witnessing it's only possible because of Ishiki. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I'm out.